time show podcast what is going on today hello to everybody that is on hard bean uh let me see who's there right now i see one of my patrons is there miss ty and i also see all oh, my old friend uh gil glilt i always say this wrong man gilt belt in a sports show uh who's here who has an excellent podcast on pod bean as well Glad that you took some time out, man, to join me. And I see your comment. I'm laughing already. He says, I feel as though you won't be all that apologetic. Just hold on and see. Hey, 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 hey what's going on, Facebook? <laughs> what's going on, uh, Periscope? What's going on, YouTube? Uh, hello, everybody that will be watching. What's going on? I see uh, my brothers are in the house. I already see him. My goodness, that my brother E. Kush is in the house. What's going on, E. Kush? My show enough brother Kevin Carr is in the house. He, I call him my conscience. That's 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 it. Whenever you see Kevin Carr, we're going to officially on the big time show call him my conscience. His job is to uh, make sure that I stay on the narrow because he he thinks like I do. Sometimes I jump out there. And, and he take care of me because he's going to tell me the truth. You see what I'm saying? He's the conscience. My fraternity brother, the great pastor, the great apostle, Apostle Bill Anderson, is in the house. What's up? What's going on, Noob? I already see what you're saying. Noob, what doesn't happen? I, I, I'm, I'm about to get into it. Ain't nothing happening. Easy E, what's up, man? Uh, I see my classmate, Curvy High. What's up? What's going on? I see you, Tree. What's going on? Hey, Miss McDonough, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? What's up? What's up, Chris? What's up, Chris? What's going on, man? Uh, good to see you. Listen, today, before we get started doing anything, listen, I want to tell you that this show, of course, the music that you heard was by Alex Winters, Alex X Winters. You can see that on your screen if you want to hear. He has plenty of music, as you just heard. Uh, all you have to do is go to his Instagram page, sign up, and you can get everything that you need. Listen, also, of course, this show has been sponsored by our sponsor, The Fragrance Shop Memphis. The Fragrance Shop Memphis. The Fragrance Shop Memphis. Uh, there's a Facebook page. All you have to do is go dial into that. Uh, listen, it's that time. We're getting close to Valentine's Day. Uh, for those that do not uh, have not started on your Valentine's Day shopping, May I suggest to you now uh, the Fragrance Shop Memphis. Uh, it's a place where you can get all types 
of fragrances, uh, colognes and perfumes for your significant other or your spouse. Uh, and all you have to do is go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis, go in there, just go in there and start getting a head start. Listen, if you get some flowers, now we all know that flowers not going to last long now. I mean, come on. Flowers going to last about two or three days, then he did. Okay? <laughs> so I know a lot of us going to be buying roses, flowers, and all that. Please keep in mind, they're going to die. You, you already know it. Why don't you get something that's a little last and get you some cologne, perfume? The fragrance shop in Memphis will take care of you all right there. That's all you have to do. Go to it on, on uh, Facebook. It's been ran by a fraternity brother of mine. It's his place. All you have to do is go there, inbox. He can take care of you before Valentine's Day. Don't wait. Go ahead and go there now. I appreciate that. Uh, and I'm quite sure he would, too. Listen, uh, I, I look, I know why y'all here. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn, I appreciate you, Glenn. I, I appreciate that. Listen, y'all really, because I'm so, so whatever. Y'all want to see. What's up, Gary? What's up? Hey, Miss Yolanda. Hey, I see you. Uh, everybody said all the time, don't get no flowers. Get something that's going to last. Exactly. Exactly. He's in, yeah, uh, um, uh, Apostle Anderson, listen, and uh, he is, he's a, a, a Kappa Beta. Uh, I ain't going to tell you his name because he didn't want me to do that. I wish I could. Let me just say, I know him very, very, very well. Hint, hint, I've known him since 1977. Okay, so if that be the case, some of y'all already know who it is, but he ain't going to let me say it, so I'm just doing what he told me to do. But I've known him for since 1977, so that's a long time. So if I say he's good, he's good. Go to him, get some cologne. He got everything, man, everything, everything. Whatever you want, he got it. <laughs> he, he has it. All you got to do is go to the Freedom Shop Memphis and then take care of that. Go to the Facebook page. That's all you have to do. All right, listen, some of y'all are already wondering, how am I going to take this? I guess I have uh, been somewhat controversial in the area of Dak Prescott, that when I say something, some of you thinking I'm going the opposite direction, some of you trying to figure it out. So it, it might be a little boring to you today because I actually am apologizing to Dak Prescott today. I am. I'm not, I'm not trying to trick y'all. I'm not trying to do a little catchphrase or nothing. Let me give you the premise from where I'm coming from, from the start. Okay, here it is. I was one of the ones. I was, I was. I was one of the people that said Dak Prescott is not that good. I said that. Some, some of you in here have been with me for in other groups. Some of y'all know that. I said he's not that good. His rookie year, I said he was he was shielded by a great offensive line, a great running back, and a somewhat good defense, and he was. Uh, he came in trying to replace Romo. They didn't put a lot on him. All they said was, look, just don't mess this up. They called plays so they wouldn't give him a chance to mess it up. I just said he's not that good. We went 13-3. to Okay? Playing that way, we went 13-3, and we – we kind of got caught up in the Kool-Aid. Uh, 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 <laughs> I see you, Glenn. Glenn want me to take a heel or a spin of a narrative. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I, I was one of the ones that said, look, in his, in his second year and his third year, I said, look, as long as the game is close, uh, that can win. But I also am the one that said that if we're down 14 points going into the to the last quarter, I said the game is over. That's what I said. Now you you know I that's what I said. I said he can't bring us back because I said as long as Ezekiel Elliott is rolling, I said as long as as the defense keeps it close, he is effective. But if you ever have to put the game in his hands, in other words, you got to pass it. You can't depend on Z Elliott too much at all. He's not going to win it because I didn't think he could carry a team. Notice from the first year, it progressed to me saying he's all right. First I said, oh, well, you know, laning. You know, now I'm saying he's close. Now, uh, his third year, oh, my God. 
you can see the progression. Okay, you you can see it. No, he's not on Rogers level. No, he's not Mahomes. No, he's not all. They no, he's not. I I I tell you that now. No, but he did progress. No question about that. And in the meantime, while he was progressing, the the salaries for quarterbacks kept rising and rising. Why? Because golf got his, because Wentz got his, and Garoppolo got his, and the market just kept going up while he's progressing. Every one of those quarterbacks I just named out, when they got their contract, they became the highest paid quarterback in the league. Why? Because the market demanded so. I hope y'all hold on to that. The market demanded it. And he went ahead, they went ahead and got paid for it. Now, what has happened this year before he got hurt? That was no question one of the hottest quarterbacks in the entire league. Setting all type of records. All type of records. He was going completely cuckoo. Now, we weren't winning. But one thing for sure, we could not blame it on Dak Prescott. No, 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 no. And I look, I wasn't a fan of that. Y'all don't believe me? Go to my Facebook pages. Go to my page. Go to the year. Go to 2013 and four. I mean, excuse me, 2015. You will see some of my cowboy boys where I just destroyed that Chris guy. Because I didn't think he was all that. And why everybody was saying that. I didn't think he was. Let me say this. I guess this is the first apology. Because we found out how great Dak was when he wasn't playing. Y'all, I mean, everybody know now. We win. So maybe some of y'all need to come on with me. Some of y'all need to come on with me. Let's all at once apologize to Dak Prescott. Now, we I know that's kind of old news. I get it. But, but let's apologize. Because Dak has proven himself. Even when he was injured. He was proving himself. Okay? We all know this. Okay? We we know this. We know it. And it, and, and I want to apologize to Dak on behalf of some of y'all. Some of y'all are gonna see this. Oh my goodness, I didn't. I need everybody to share this. Y'all forgive me for a minute. I forgot to share this stuff. So forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. While I go ahead and do this now. Some of y'all need to apologize. To Dak right now because some of y'all thought that some of these quarterbacks are better than he is. Yeah, y'all did. And I ain't talking about the upper echelon of these guys. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about some of you guys still think, I ain't talking about you Cowboy fan. I'm talking about all these haters that are going to be looking at me later on. Some of y'all think that Carson Wentz is still better than Dak Prescott. Some of y'all do. And and I get it. Because, you know, Carson Wentz at the time, uh, in that year that they went to the Super Bowl before he got hurt, Carson Wentz was rolling on the MVP level. He was. Dak Prescott, uh, for a year, you know, we started talking about him early, but he faded off at the end for MVP consideration. Uh, and, and everybody drinking that Kool-Aid just because Wentz throw to Zach Ertz are tied in 190 times a year, I may add. Y'all think that he better than Dak Prescott. Well, what y'all think now? Y'all, some of y'all need to apologize. I'm inviting all haters. Thank, thank, thank you, Apostle. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle. We sorry because, look, I was one of the ones. I, I see you, Gary. Look, look, I see you, Gary. I see you, Gary. I'm coming. Please, I'm about to go down the list. I, but but since Gary just put it up there, I was going to wait late to last. So I, but I'm going to come to him since, since Gary done put it up there. It's some of y'all thought, some of you Cowboy fans, some of you Cowboy fans actually believe that Andy Dalton was better than Dak Prescott. I ain't talking about the outside folks. No, 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 no. 
We're talking about some of these star wearing, star cap wearing, tattoo, star tattoo on your arms. Some of them folks who actually believed. Uh, uh, let, let me throw this caveat in. And still believe that Andy Dalton is better than Dak Prescott. Dak, I don't know if this is going to get to you, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, that, that there are some who, who I, I just believe they got a little hate in their heart. I, I just believe that. I, I believe that. That, that, that was some. That, that was some that believed it. Thank, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. I never seen nothing. Exactly. I, I ain't seen Elder, I see my, 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 my elder on here, Elder Johnson. Listen, I I I, I don't I, I'm sorry, Dak. I, I I apologize for a few folks. Uh I, I never thought that he was better, Dalton was better. But but check it out, y'all. Some folks think that because Andy Dalton's record showed that he think he won what? Four games and lost two. I think that's what it was, something like that. They they actually said, see them? I told you, all you need is just a guy who's serviceable and, and he could do the same thing that Dak can do. I'm sorry, Dak. I'm sorry, Dak. I'm sorry. I I, I I I don't I don't know what TV they watching. I, I I what what TV are is everybody watching? Is, is everybody watching the same TV that I am? I I, I I I don't I don't get it. Thank 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 you, Elder. Thank thank you, Elder. I, I see you, Paul. Paul saying pay back. I bet he, he I, my fraternity brother. My my look. He 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 with me. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It, it hurt me to say it. Because I was one of the ones that said he couldn't do it. Listen, L. Johnson, I think Jerry believed that. That's why he don't want to give Dak his money. I, I, well, look, I agree. Gary says, and Gary telling the truth here. Gary said just last year, with Dak, we were won nine games. Uh, I believe that wholeheartedly. I know we would have won the division. Because we were putting up 30. I mean, with that there, no, no question about that. No, 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 no. That that offense could not be stopped. That had made the progression that we all need to see to the point where we would all say now that deserves to be talked about, talked about in the upper echelon of quarterbacks. Now, when I say that, I'll say again, no, he is not Mahomes. No. He is not Rodgers. No. He's not Brady. No, 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 no. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But after the old guys, okay, I guess y'all gonna say Lamar. Okay. Well, you know, uh, you know, I just depend on what you like. No, Dak is not, you know, Lamar as far as athlete, being an athlete goes. I'll give you that. But throwing the football, mm, okay, okay. I think we can argue right there, okay. I, I, I I'm not saying it. Look, that that game ain't trying to run for a thousand yards, okay. So Lamar got him on that. But when we talk about throwing the ball, Lamar Jackson ain't all that. Now I know some of y'all ain't gonna like what I'm saying, but somebody gonna say, "Hey, Lamar Jackson, the MVP." Yeah, he was. Running. Yeah, he did that. Passing the ball. No, no. Some of y'all still gonna hold on and say, hey, golf is a better, better quarterback than 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 Dak Prescott. He can throw the ball better. I don't care about golf throwing the ball better than, than Dak. I don't care. But when it comes to decision making, see what I'm saying? Look, if all you're doing is throwing the running backs out the backfield like golf did, and, and, and I'm not saying golf didn't push the ball down the field, his decision making, when the pressure get tight on him, 
The when the pressure get tight on golf, he dance around like he Fred a stare in the pocket. Can't do nothing. Huh? I see you. I see you, Glenn. Go ahead and say, okay, okay, I, I see you. Huh? Thank you, Gary. That's what I'm saying. I'm not disrespecting Lamar. I'm just telling the truth about it. When it comes when it comes to throwing the football, Lamar ain't all that. He's not. That's why they lose in the playoffs. Now, some of y'all I'm just, look, yeah, he's the MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was deservedly so. No question. That don't mean that he better. Just because he's the MVP, who you taking? Mahomes or Lamar? Don't even answer it, because I already know who you take it. You take him home. Despite Lamar being the MVP, you take him home. You see what I'm saying? So I, 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 I'm I, sorry with that. Some of y'all who think Wentz is better, look, I, I don't know what TV you watching. He might be better than Dak on Madden. <laughs> on Madden 21 or Madden, he might be on that, but I, 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 I argue that. It's... I, I, I'm serious. So I want to apologize to Dak for that. Let me get into some stuff that I want to say. And, and, and let me throw this one in, then I'll move to my next topic. Is some of you guys who actually thought who was begging for Matthew Stafford? I get you ain't got to you ain't got to say nothing. Hey, 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 Effie, 77-7, yeah, the Chiefs, yeah. Yeah, we yeah we we I get into the Super Bowl later. The the Cowboys are are, are high priority. They're on par, man. I I care, you know. I I tell you about the Super Bowl at the end. You know, here it is. Some of y'all, uh, Kevin said, can we win a Super Bowl with that? Yes, I believe we can. Uh, well, Cowboy. The only thing I say about that Cowboy Nation is not on since I got a few preachers on here. Cowboy Nation is not on one accord. <laughs> With that statement, Kevin, that's the only thing I'm gonna say about that. We're not all on one accord when it comes to that, and and that comes from, which is which is leading me slightly into the rest of what I have to say. And I'll get to that in a second. But let me go back to Stafford. A lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all were, y'all ready to pack Dak Dak's bag, I don't know his bags, and and ship him right on out of out of, out of Dallas. I, I saw it in a lot of groups. I saw it in a lot of posts. A lot of cowboy fans were had forgot where your bread was buttered. And a lot of you believe that that Matthew Stafford should be in Dallas. So what I did, <clears throat> I, I I went back and I looked. And y'all, you guys may not, you know, you guys may cannot see this. One of you day I gotta figure out how to how to get it all right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to to uh put this on, on the screen. You ain't you're not gonna see it. Probably I apologize. I'm I'm working with Facebook uh also. Um and I'm trying to put this up. I'm going to put it up uh right now. Uh I hope that you guys can see it. I'm about to share it now. I'm gonna take myself off. I know some of you can't see that. I hope you can. But what I have here, if you cannot, what I have here is a comparison um, stat between Dak Prescott and Matthew Stafford since they've both been starting in the league, 2016 and up. And when you compare the two, it's almost the same thing. Except winning record, Dak is since 2016, Dak is 42 and 27. Matthew Stafford is 32 and 39. Now I know the team is better. I, I already get that. But I'm trying to say if he's so great. Where is it? Dak has a completion percentage of 66. Matthew Stafford has a completion of 65. Oh, my mic is not on. Okay. Can y'all hear me now? Okay, I'm sorry. Y'all not gonna be able to see that, but if you can, just look at it. I, I want to that. I gotta figure it back out. But listen, the completion percentage. Matthew Stafford is 65. Dak is 66. Okay. 
Okay, I see you. Okay, there you go, Glenn. Glenn is on Facebook. I see you, Glenn. Way to switch over. Uh, Dak has a hundred and a hundred and six touchdowns to Matthews one nineteen. Sabbath has 46 interceptions. Dak has 40. I don't see really too much of a difference. Uh, I, I'm just, let me take this off for some of y'all struggling like I am. I, I don't see much of a difference, y'all. You know, I mean, and some of you going to say because, look, Let's 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 be realistic, y'all. Yes, Matthew Stafford has a stronger arm than Dak Prescott. We know that. There, there aren't too many quarterbacks that have a stronger arm than Matthew Stafford. It's only probably about two or three. That's it. Maybe just two. And that may two may be Mahomes and maybe Josh Allen. After those two, Stafford might be right there with strong arm. And, and and if you've been watching ball a long time, come on now. It's it's easy to get a whole bunch of yards when you throw a jump ball to Megatron. Come on, y'all. Y'all, look. Huh? And somebody go out and say, we well, had days. I mean, but two different offenses. I mean, Matthew Stab will throw the ball with two or three guys on Megatron. Megatron would jump up in there because he was 6'5". He had a big Vertical jump. Hey, Tavis, what's up, man? I, I mean, let's be real now. What has he done since since Megatron been gone? Because I mean, come on now. I'm not saying Stafford is trash by no means. Stafford is a good quarterback. I think he's gonna show out with the Rams. I believe he is. I I, I have no question. But come on, man. Exactly. Stafford is not an athlete. Stafford is a pure pocket passer. And as you can see what the pastor just said, if Stafford is there, he's going to get hit. That's why he stay injured all the time. Why? Because he cannot run the ball. When De- Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Some folks are all the days. But, but that wasn't the same days. That's, that's what Gary was saying. It's the truth. Dez was older. When when it had was injury prone, when Dak took over, that was not the days that had Romo. Come on now, it was not. Dez was was banged up. He was on the decline. He couldn't do what Megatron did. Okay, Stab was just throwing balls up. I mean, I I mean, I I if 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 you give a, 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 a below average quarterback Mel, Megatron. Metatron is going to make that quarterback be a pro bowler. That's what I'm saying. Stafford is great, but Stafford ain't won nothing. Look, when he had Megatron, they didn't win nothing. Y'all done forgot, right? When he had Reggie Bush, they didn't win nothing. Huh? Y'all not, y'all, look, why? Look, I'm just, I'm just here to tell the truth. Huh? Exactly. Look, Glenn on part me just said, look, as someone who played Madden just like I do, he said it didn't matter if they staff were 99. If 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 they, if they if he didn't have control of them, they're gonna get sacked. It's just the truth. Exactly. Uh Tavis says, Tavis said he never had a run game his whole career. That's because Scott Lennon refused to run. <laughs> Reggie was done after New Orleans. See what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. I, 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 some of y'all believe. Some of y'all believe. Y'all did. Y'all believe Stafford was better than that. Y'all believe it. Some of my cowboy, some of you cowboy lifelong fans really believed. Y'all really, y'all, look, y'all had an, a FedEx sticker on the backside of that. Shipping him straight out of Dallas. Once you thought, or uh, uh, soon as they said, "Hey, Stabber wants to be traded," some of y'all didn't even think. Y'all, y'all say, "Hey, just get him. Let's get him. Come on, Jerry. Come on. 
Let's get them. Let's get what? What? Some of y'all did it. I apologize that. That, that I say it all. Let to say this. I, I'm sorry. With that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am. I'm sorry. I don't care what Matthew Stafford do next year. And I'm predicting that Matthew Stafford is going to have a gigantic year next year. I don't care if he win the MVP. I'm just incredible, so incredible. Exactly. Thank you, Tavis. In the trenches throughout his whole career. Dak started at the, at, at the bottom floor. See, some of y'all don't forget this, too. When Dak got there, the only reason why Dak became a starter is because, see, y'all got it twisted. Y'all y'all say that, that Romo got hurt, here come Dak. No, 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 no. You forgot who the number two quarterback was. Guess who the number two quarterback was? His offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore. What happened to Kellen Moore? He got hurt too. So Dak had to play as a third-string quarterback, went in there, Proved that he was better than Kellen Moore. Huh? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, boy. Pastor Anderson, look, that ain't going to happen. Y'all see what he said. He said he, Jerry need to apologize to Dak, too. That's not going to happen. It's not. But remember, Kellen Moore was the number two quarterback. He broke his leg. Dak got forced in. Y'all forgot that, right? Y'all forgot it. Okay. So Dak really is a third string quarterback that, that started playing. Took over the second string and then eventually took over the first string. That's why Romo had the press conference say, hey, it's his show now. My time is up. He had to give it to him because the kid was winning. He didn't want to break the flow. And Dak has progressively got better, better, and better. I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I feel I'm sorry, Dak, because you know our fans have just, you know, we we quick to get, we weren't quick to give up on Romo. <laughs> it wasn't matter of fact. It didn't nobody say anything about Romo getting rid of Romo. Nobody, no, no, no. I'm not, and it ain't because Romo wasn't good. Romo was good to me. But but when all the other quarterbacks came out, uh, okay, hello Rodney Smith. Oh, I, that's that's what I said, uh, brother Smith. I, I thank you for for joining in. I have no problem with agreeing with you on that because Stafford didn't have that. I've already said that I'm expecting Stafford to have one to his greatest year. He got the coach. He got a, a, a defense. He has a running game. He has stuff he never had. I, I agree with it. But I don't know why everybody wanted to get rid of that. Yeah, that's it, Tavis. They ran it out till his back fell out. That's what you meant to say. <laughs> till his back fell out. Huh? I, I, I just don't know why everybody's so quick to give up on that and replace him with Stafford who, despite him being good, really ain't proved nothing. What is staff proving? I, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not coming against staff. I'm just saying, what is he proving? He has a strong arm. He's proven that. Okay, uh, he ain't proved he can win because he ain't won. Uh, he has he been to the Pro Bowl? I'm talking about voted in. Staff ain't never been voted into the. I ain't talking about we're replacements. I'm not talking about when the other guys say I ain't going to the Pro Bowl, they replace staff. They ain't never been voted to the Pro Bowl. He may have played in it, but he wasn't voted in. Dak has. Dak has been voted in. I, I don't know why we see if you if you're gonna do it. See, see, some of you saying, well, the Rams may have made an upgrade between golf and staff. I would agree. But if you're trying to say that an upgrade from, from Dak would be Stafford, based on the stats and what I've seen, that's about the same thing to me. If we're going to upgrade, let's upgrade. Tell me what the upgrade is. That That's such, that, you know, I think there is somewhat of a gap between golf and Stafford. That's not a gap. That's really not a, uh, uh, that, that's, that, 
There's not a gap there between Dak and, and, and Stafford to me. Tavis said Matt should have really had a playoff win when they played us behind. They had to, well, they, yeah, that's true. That Detroit should have beat us in that, but they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. He, 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 they didn't beat us. That's all that matter. You know, I, I, you know, Stafford ain't didn't have he ain't got control over Anthony Hitchens, as Tavis just said. They didn't win. That's all I'm saying. We won. Stafford has not proven anything other than he he's a everybody assumes. See, I'll see the difference. They assume that he's a good core. They assume that he's gonna have a great year in the, with the Rams. We're assuming that because we have high expectations for him. Tavis said God was looking like a bomb after the Super Bowl. He was a bomb all the time, uh, Tavis. He was. He was shielded just like he was shielded by a great defense. He was shielded by uh, Todd Gurley and and uh, CJ who ran the ball all over us. He was he was shielded by that. And if you got a play action pass game, when everybody thinking they got to stop Gurley, he to throw to a wide open tight end. Exactly, Kevin. Skim say all staff got he been playing, but everybody was ready to get rid of that. Everybody was ready to go. Pat them up, ship them, put the fat, the UPS sticker on his butt, send them out, get them out of here, get that guy out of here. Let me go to Parvi. I know y'all talking. Okay, I see. You. Everybody was ready to get rid of. I, every, every, a lot of folks were. Somebody need to apologize today. I mean, he gone now. He with the Rams, and and, and because of that. And because he's gone to the Rams, it's almost the attitude is like, well, uh, staff are gone. Uh, everybody, if the other guys are gone, I guess we just going to be stuck with that. <laughs> I guess we just going to have to live with that. I, I, I want to live too with him. Bro, Smith says that had first round grade coming out. For Mississippi State on the damn Mullins offense, but fail to the third round. Dak has Rod Starbuck like leadership quality pay to man. Actually fell to the fourth round. Uh, uh brother Smith. He he fell to the fourth. He drafted in the fourth round. But if he had a first round grade, that just goes to show his lifelong problem. Nobody really believes in him. You don't have a guy if he had a first round grade. A first round grade for a quarterback don't don't go all the way down to the fourth round now. But the reason why is they, it happened like this because nobody really they believe. See, see, bro Smith, you you made a great great point here. Is what the point is. I, you know what I'm saying. This is the point that 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 what is there also the problem. Even though what you said is the truth. You said Dak has Roger Staubach like leadership quality, pay the man. But you know what? That's what that's what you hear from the Jones family, bro Smith, which is really the problem. They always talk about his leadership and his intangibles and and his his leadership ability and his his great his great respect that he has in the locker room. As a matter of fact, Jerry Jones said this. He said, "I believe we can win a lot of games with that." You remember what he said about Romo? Brother Smith, notice the difference. He said we can win games with that, but with Toromo, when he paid him, he said that to Tony Romo will win us a Super Bowl. See the difference? With that, you can win a lot of games. With Romo, the same mouth said we can win the Super Bowl. See what I'm saying? That's a difference. That's a big difference. I ain't never heard him say that that can win the Super Bowl. I ain't never heard it. Now, if y'all heard it, I, I please show me. I take it. Okay. Uh, uh, I see. Uh, Fred said, "Nope, they ready to get rid of Zeke." Well, you know, it's easy to ready to get rid of the running back, but if you get rid of him, that's the hard. That's one of the heart and souls of the team. If that, if that's what they, he gonna have to take a pay cut eventually, but it won't be this year. He got to get a piece of that that extension he just signed. 
Uh, Tad says again, let that go, and we probably will never have a franchise quarterback unless they spend fifty million dollars a year. It's no doubt about it because the market tax is going up. You're absolutely right. Unless we get real lucky in the draft and somebody shows some real promise and shows some real stuff, just like that did. Okay. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You already got it. The kid is ain't number 26, 27 years old. You already got what you're looking for. It's already here. There are, there are only 32 jobs like this in, in the world. And that is not at the bottom of the he's not at the bottom of that list. That is, is no question a top 10, top eight quarterback. Which means that in this whole world, it's only probably about six guys. They can do the job probably a little bit better than he can. And if you're in the top eight, you got to, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, that. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry, that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gary said, Jerry's stupid. Aikman and Stallback love that and believe in them. Yeah, they love them. Jerry too dumb to listen to Super Bowl winners. Yeah, they love that. They don't hear on it because he can't. Daryl, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see. My other friend on here, Noob on here, Howard, he said they never believed that would be this good period. I agree. Daryl, I don't know what I don't know what point you said cause he can't. Uh I don't know who I don't know who you talking about. I don't I'll clarify that that comment for me, Daryl. Uh I'm not knocking you. I just don't know exactly at what point you said that. Because I don't know if that means you don't believe in Dak either or you don't believe in or you believe in Stafford. Because that's all the two I was talking about. Clarify that for me, man, uh, Daryl, if you don't mind. Uh, I, I, I just feel like apologizing to that because it's, 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 it's getting to the point where it's getting beyond ridiculous. I, 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 have, never, I have never seen it. I haven't seen this before, except maybe with Kirk Cousins, but Kirk Cousins wanted to be franchise tag. He wanted all that. He was he was willing to roll the dice. This is the only this is the only person I ever seen do it. That want to be signed. Oh, when I said down, oh, okay, and said when I spoke on Dak winning the Super Bowl, so you don't think Dak can win it? Oh. Uh, I, I can't knock you because if that's what your belief is, there I, I, I'm not gonna knock you on that. Uh, there's a lot of people who share that same opinion with. I was one that that, that shared the same opinion, and I'm not. Uh, I have to admit that I'm not 100% sold and say he he can win it. But I will say this: I'm not at 50% saying that he will either. Uh. He's not, he's not a guy that like a Mahomes where you can say, here go the ball, man, cares. <clears throat> I'm talking about for a whole season. Okay. I I I I'm not I'm not saying that Dak needs all phases to work, but I am saying I see the improvement where he's taking the, the, the next steps. And you don't have to be a top three quarterback to win the Super Bowl. I don't have to go down the list of guys who don't want it. Uh, I, you don't have to be. I've seen teams with defense win the Super Bowl. Let's go back to the Ravens when they had Trent Dilfer. Uh I see Trent Dow said, nope, not at all. You got to be able to beat winning teams to do so, which he has yet to be proved, well, yet to prove he can do. Uh, Dow, I'm not going to argue with you on that because – Actually, you are in my you – know, what I was trying to get to next. Uh, he has not won a lot of uh, big teams. He has not. He has not. Thank you, Kev. Kev said Trent Dill won, Joe Flacco won. Uh, a lot of factors go into to that, though, Darren. A lot of factors. So we can't blame all that on that uh, because if you're scoring 30 and your defense is giving up 31, then, I mean, come on now. We can't blame that on that. That's what happened this year. Dak was putting up 30, 30-plus 30 points a game. Defense was giving up 35. 
You see what I'm saying? So I, I can't blame all that on that. I can't. The Green Bay playoff game, I mean, the Green Bay jumped out on us, I mean, big time. And then all, of course, Dak brought us back, which is another whole story within itself. Uh, I, 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 can't, I can't blame all that on That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, Paul said, uh, that, that's like saying we don't want Michael Jordan because he ain't won a championship. Yeah, exactly. Daryl says again, well, it was 21 nothing before he scored. Well, you know, you ain't going to, you know, let's just be honest. You ain't going to be clicking all cylinders all, all the time. I mean, 24-7. Uh, well, we would have liked that score, but uh, once they got in the rhythm, they got in the rhythm, okay? And he came, he brought us back. I I, I, I get it. And, 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 and it, why everybody on here, this is why I'm saying, Two or three things can be truthful at the same time. Okay? Dow is right. I know y'all don't like it, but Dow, Dow is right. He is. Dow is right. 21 nothing. That's true. That happened. Uh, you know, we, we didn't score. Sometimes it takes a little time to get in, get in your rhythm. No question about that. Dow said both offenses get the got, got the ball. I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But we can't blame that on Dak. You just said 21 nothing. That's not Dak's fault. That's defense fault. That's the defense fault. You got to stop somebody. Is, am I still alone? Probably mean I know I'm on with you, but I don't know if I'm still alone uh, with my people here. I don't know if I'm on here. Are y'all on with me? Somebody say something because I need to know if I'm still on now because it's showing zero and I know you still. Somebody talk to me real quick. Are you? Are we here? Are we here? Are we here? I don't know what's going on. Uh, Facebook, are you still here with me? It's showing that. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. I don't know if you guys are on with me or not. Oh, probably, please give me a second. I'm going to keep going. I think I am. Uh, On with you. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Uh probably keep talking to me. Uh I don't know what to say because people are really messing us up with the Dak Prescott thing. And I believe Jerry Jones is a major contributor of this problem. And he's going to have to change his attitude rather quickly. If not, we're going to lose, we're going to be, uh, the franchise is going to end up going backwards and it's going to take 15 years to come back. Y'all forgive me because I am not seeing what is going on here. Ah, talk to me. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think I am back. I think I'm back. Oh, y'all back? Okay. Some of y'all, I guess y'all still here. Uh, here we go. You can't blame one person as a team sport, but Kevin said, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Kev. You can't do it. I don't know what's going on. Kev, you don't mind. Hop back on Facebook for me. Uh, I'm back on there now. I see that. For some reason, it just blanked completely out. 
uh, on there for me. Y'all just give me a second here. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and say this. I see you, Kev. I see you. I'm going to go ahead and try to share this again uh, with everybody because I just lost my crowd. Uh, I think I did. I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, this is a good time for me to make a pause and tell you again, guys, about the um, the Fragrance Shop Memphis. The Fragrance Shop Memphis uh, is getting close to Valentine again, the Valentine's Day again. You guys have, do need, without a doubt, you guys need to get something that's going to last. You guys need to um, get something that's going to last longer than them dead flowers y'all be getting. And chocolates that get eat, ate up in one day. <laughs> you guys need to go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis uh, and go there and get some cologne and perfume from the Fragrance Shop Memphis. They have all type of different fragrances, which is Bond, Number 9, Creed, all, anything that you need, you're going to get it at a great retail price. So you guys go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis. It is a Facebook page. It is being ran by my fraternity brother. I believe that you guys can uh, uh, will be very pleased with what he has to offer. Please go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis. Get your Valentine's Day stuff for uh, your significant other or your spouse, and let's see what happens uh, then. I am back on where I was before. I'm sharing it with groups. I'm sorry to those that I just lost. Um, so we're going to pick right back up. I see you, uh, Daryl. Gary Agnes Breeze got a what? Uh, yeah, Breeze has a Super Bowl. He also had a great coach, uh, Daryl. No doubt about it. Saints uh, had a – there's a lot of factors that go into that. Nobody wanted to come into – that dome to play them. Uh, fans were uh, rambunctious enough that they became a factor in all those games. Uh, Breeze is a Hall of Fame quarterback with a with a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, but Dak is, is probably better than Breeze right now. I know that's almost sound blasphemous, don't it? But it's the truth. Dak is probably better than Breeze now. The Breeze is a shell of himself. Uh, he got the brain, no doubt about it. He has the brain, but he doesn't have the physical set to do what he used to do. He just doesn't. He can't throw the ball down the field. Uh, the age has caught up with him, uh, no doubt about that. I think that at this point, I ain't say overall, you know, on a career, but at this exact point, yeah, exactly. I believe at this point that Dak probably is the better quarterback than Breeze only because um, Breeze just can't do it physically. That's why he's contemplating retirement right now. Uh, Bryant, you know, noticing defenses and lining up, yeah, I give Breeze the, the nod on that. But I just don't think we, we really understand the value for Dak. I just don't. I just don't believe we're there. Uh, I believe we're having a real rough time acknowledging how good he really is, and that's why I say I want to apologize to him. Oh, Gary said. <laughs> Gary said Breeze would probably be better throwing the football left hand. Exactly. Right on. It, it, it showed a gone man. It, it really. Is. That has the same record as Breeze against winning team. Only matter when they prove. Right, they ignore them what they prove them wrong. Exactly. Exactly. It, it's, it's sad. Uh, Kevin says, sign your quarterback and win in free agency. That's true. That, that's what we got to do. We got to we gotta sign that, y'all. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm moving to the next point. Uh, but we got to do something because it's just not making any sense whatsoever. And it's not making sense. To other folks, Gary said he's not going to try to restructure to about Saturday base. Exactly, Breeze. I saw that yesterday. I believe you're right. I believe Breeze is going to try to give it one more go. I believe that. Daryl said, Gary said, he was replying to Gary, you proved my point. If they have the same record against winning teams, 
how you can you say for sure he can't win one? Uh, that's because I can answer that for you, Gary. The reason why Daryl is saying that is because simply he can, he don't believe in that. That's just the bottom line. When you finish talking all that, see if I said, do you believe Mahomes? If we say Mahomes, do you believe Mahomes can can win a Super Bowl? Most folks say yes. If you said you believe Aaron Rodgers win us a Super Bowl, most folks gonna say yes. When you say Dak, however, that's where that's that's where everybody kind of leave because a lot of people are not sure. In Cowboy Land, that that's the problem. I see you, Fred. Fred says that Dallas is waiting on Stephen John Stephen John Arkansas quarterback. Watch it. See, there's a lot of people believe that too. Just in case some of you don't know, uh, John Stephen Jones is the quarterback of Arkansas, of course. That's Jerry Jones' grandson. And a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people believe <clears throat> that uh, that John will be a cowboy one day. Gary says, I feel, feel him and don't disagree with the pen, but number say mine is relevant to No question, Gary. So that's why I was saying two things can be right at one time. Your, his opinion may be right. You must, may don't believe it. Okay, I see a, I see a cowboy uh, on Power Bean says, Cowboys are doing the right thing. Give number four, four to five million and never make the playoff it makes no sense. He said, I'm no way saying Dak does not deserve to be paid. He deserves to be paid. There are other needs also. Cowboys need to tag uh, Dak again, draft a defensive tackle, safety cornerback, and offensive tackle. Coach is coach. Players play, play you win or lose as a team. You win or lose as a team. Team friendly deals only or trade for for draft picks. Giving one player all the money these days are over. Texas want too, too much for uh, DW and it is not worth it, in his opinion. And he got paid. That's a lot in what certified cowboy just said. See, that's a cowboy fan. That's why I said the opinions of Dallas, for those that are looking – that that that's an opinion that's on Podbean. I hope you're on Podbean. You can see that. Uh, Cowboy Cowboy Nation is divided on this thing. That's that's why I say we're not on all one accord. And 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 to and to certify Cowboys um, posts, uh, there are a lot of things that you can agree with. Uh, Four and twelve, DW. He could not win ten games on his own. I, I'm sorry, certified cow. You got to clarify. I'm I'm lost on the DW part. I don't know who that is. I don't know who DW is. You got to help me on that. That way I can can really. Uh, it's a stupid argument. Uh, when we get to Gary, Gary says for us to win, we have to hit on the defensive draft picks. One hundred percent. Uh, Gary says it's a stupid argument to have. You didn't sign at four to five million when you could have got him at 19. Exactly. You, this thing should have been handled two, three years ago. But I will say this, Gary. Oh, Deshaun Watson. Okay. That's who you're talking about. So let me go back and read that. Uh, he could not win 10 games on his own, four to Deshaun Watson. Well, to be honest with you, uh, that's another argument. People will argue and say that Deshaun is better than Dak. Uh, and that, like I said, when it comes to Dak, it's split everywhere. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. If you want to trade Dak away, I'll go ahead and tell you now that uh, the morale of your team is going to be shot. They love Dak. They love him in the locker room. And there's a lot of guys that be incredibly tick, ticked off. You know, I, I and I know the professor, you gotta do your job. So I don't know about that trade part. Yeah, you get draft picks for him, no question. Uh you say that we shouldn't sign him to uh, you know, the big gigantic base salary a year. Um uh, now my only comeback to that is is that 
certified cowboy, I, the market demands that. And I don't think he's going to get, I don't think it's four to five million. I really, to be honest with you, I believe if they come to that between 37 and 38, uh, 37 and 40 between there, it's a done deal. Remember with that, and we saw something earlier uh, that answers a lot of questions. You got to understand that Dak wants four years. He ain't asked for five. The Cowboys want five. The reason why Dak wants four years is because their contract with uh, the uh, the TV contract for the league go out in those four years, which means more money is going to come to the owners and the NFL, which will translate to uh, the salary, player salaries at the end of the year. Dak wants the full contract because – you know that TV deal is going to be worth billions. And it's going to come down. So he wants a big piece of the pie. I don't blame him. I mean, I'm serious. I don't blame him. That's why he wants four years. It's not because he just want he wants because he know that TV contract is going out. That's the reason why. It ain't got nothing to do with, with, with you know, being a butthole or anything else. Uh, Quarterback for Texas, no different than the one to throw to. Now, Dak has better numbers than Donovan Wilson. Cowboys signed Dak will not make the playoffs. No money to keep players or sign players. He, he although he deserved the money. Well, I guess I can carry this another way. Uh, certified Cowboy uh, on Pod B. Talk to me. Uh, if we don't sign Dak, and I'll throw this to y'all too. Let's play a little game here before I move to something else. If we don't sign that and he becomes a free agent, unrestricted, and he leaves, what's the answer? Because, see, what you also had to keep in mind, this team, although we don't, we don't win, this team is built to win now. This is not rebuilding, Okay. So if you're not going to have that, one of the top 10 quarterbacks in the league, what's your answer? Because our defense is not that good to be saying, well, you don't have to have a great quarterback to win the Super Bowl. Well, you better be great at something else. And our defense is not that. So what if you don't have that, what's the answer? Andy Dalton? Gilbert? I mean, who you, you going to trust? This team is built to win now. The window is closing. We we don't have. We don't we don't have uh we don't have time. This is not Jacksonville. Well, where you got to build. This team is built to win now. At least the assumption is. That's why we spent all the money. That's why Cooper got his money. That's why uh DeMarcus Lawrence got his money. That's why Collins got his money. That's why Jalen Smith got his money. These guys, this team is built to win now. This, this is not experimenting time. So if you're not going to sign that, what's the answer? How many wins did we have when that got hurt? We had two. No defense win now. So so if we're not going to have that certified Cowboy, I'm not coming against you. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out because this team is built to win now. This is not experimenting. It's just not. So we are in PI in the we are in PI in, in the same boat. Uh, I don't know that. I, I, I don't know. If you're not gonna sign that, let him go. What we rolling with Dalton? I mean, I'm just trying to find a solution because this team is, is. I mean, we're not rebuilding. We're not in a rebuilding stage. This team is built to go to the playoffs, try to win. I, and, and if you got Dalton starting and Mr. Ben DiNucci and, and Gilbert, I'll go ahead and say we might as well get ready for a top 10 pick. We're not going to win. And now, if you're telling me we're rebuilding, I get what you're saying. I, if you telling me we're re, we're rebuilding, I understand your point about trading them away. I understand your point about not paying them. I understand that if you're telling me 
we're in rebuilding stage, then I get it. But in, in, in my opinion, this team is not in rebuilding stage. This team is trying to win now based off of their contracts and the stuff they paid out. They're trying to win. So if that is the case, you got to get the best possible uh, option to win at quarterback. That's Dak Prescott. Unless you telling me, unless you telling me somebody else coming. If you telling me Deshaun coming, I, then I say okay, okay. I say that's that's all about the same. Yeah. Uh, let me. I'll come back to you, Brother Smith. Uh, Gary says Jared never ever rebuilds. He gonna refuse the word. He says reload. I, that's all I'm saying. I this is not rebuilding. That's what that, you know. Rodney says, see that confirms the business telling about Dax foresight when the NFL TV deal. Jerry's not worried about his money because it's not predicated to Cowboys winning winning Cowboys football. Many have said that. That Dak, I mean, that Jerry ain't worried about winning. Jerry won't worry about the money. Dak is smart because in four years, he is aware that that TV contract is ending. And he knows. That's billions of dollars that's getting ready to come to the NFL and the owners, and the tag is going up. So he wants to get a piece of the pie one time, come back in four years, get another piece of the pie, and roll. He ain't got, you don't have many years to play this game. You got to you gotta get enough money that you're going to live the rest of your life off of. That's all Dak doing. There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't want to know. Uh, I don't, Certified, what is Certified Cowboy? Uh, Oh, uh, certified, okay. Well, then I'm not going to argue. Certified says we rebuild. And then he said, look, wants to come back. So that's the alternative. Well, Andrew Luck probably ain't going nowhere, uh, certified cowboy, especially since Philip Rivers retired. When Rivers retired, please understand, the Colts, if, if Luck wants to come back, Andrew Luck will be an Indianapolis Colt. So you can forget that. There's, there's no question. No question about that. You, 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 there's no even sense even us even talking about that. The Colts own his rights. And with Phillip Rivers retiring, I promise you, the Colts will not. <laughs> they, they will not do that with luck. Uh, no question. You can forget that. So we, so if we're rebuilding, certified cowboy on par being, if we're, he comes with the opinion saying that we're rebuilding. If based off that opinion, then I understand what he's saying about trade that, get uh, some picks for him, which the Cowboys would. He's also saying, don't obviously don't pay that. We rebuild it. Oh, then I understand it. I'm under the impression saying we're not rebuilding and they want to win now. So if that is the case, and since there are not many options left out there, it's going to take a boatload to get Deshaun Jackson if you're talking about trading for him. But And that's too steep of a price tag to trade for him. So you're really left with just the option of signing that. Now, if you're going to franchise him, you ain't, look, all, if we franchise him, listen, all you guys is looking excited about Richard Sherman and, uh, you know, all the other guys, get that out your mind. Because you're not gonna be able to sign these guys. If that goes on a franchise tag, all you guys that got dreams of these big name free agents, no, we'll be getting free agents from the bottom of the barrel like we usually do. Let's just go ahead and get that out now. Out to me, I really believe they're gonna franchise that, and this will be the last year Dak play with the Cowboys. That if you just want to ask me, but I'm apologizing that because it's sad. Here's another part I want to say. Did y'all see what Emmett Smith said? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see what Emmett Smith said? Y'all know y'all did. I know you did because y'all Cowboy fans. Emmett Smith uh, said, and I know y'all, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. Y'all can see me, but if you you can see me in that. Look what Emmett Smith said. The reason why, and probably, and I'm sorry you can't see it, this is being shown on Facebook Periscope. And YouTube, so I'm going to read it. 
Emmett Smith in the article said, the only answer I can give, the reason why Dak won't be signed, is that the Cowboys are uncertain whether or not he's the future of the Cowboys. Kind of sound like what we've been talking about, right? This is what Emmett Smith said. He said, outside of that, if he was the complete future of the Cowboys, they wouldn't make no bones about giving him a contract. Emmett goes on to say, I mean, at the end of the day, Tony Romo, they, there was a commitment to Romo right off the rip. That's what Emmett said, right off the rip. And he came in and replaced Drew Bledsoe. And I mean, he's not the biggest guy. He's not the most flashiest guy. He's not the fastest guy either. And he had his challenges. But there was a commitment to Tony Romo. There is not a commitment to Dak Prescott. That come from Emmitt Smith, arguably one of the greatest Cowboys to ever play the game uh, with this team. Hall of Famer, NFL leading rusher, all-time great. He is weighed in on this Dak Prescott thing and is saying the same exact thing that we've been saying. At least that I've been saying. That they do not believe in him. Thank you, uh, Michelle. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I get that all the time. But I look like my daddy. I, I get it. Thank you so much for, for popping in on me. Uh, look. Now, 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 the argument, there's a few arguments there with anything, okay? And, and, and uh, uh, Glenn, if you still on here, this is why I turn heel a little bit. See, if there's one thing I know about Emmett Smith is that he loved Jerry Jones. Those guys that won in the 90s, they loved Jerry. Michael Irvin loved Jerry Jones. Emmett loves them. Troy, all these guys, they love Jerry. They are loyal to Jerry. Uh, and some of the companies that they built, the real estate stuff that uh, Emmett Smith has been in for years, Jerry Jones has a piece of that. He's he's part he's partners with him in that. And and, and, and this is just a conspiracy. I, I I'm not so sure if Jerry didn't put Emmett out to put that out there. See, when you're loyal to somebody, you'll do anything for them. And, and sometimes, some guys will put stuff out there and be the voice of the person that they're representing. That's just a conspiracy of mine. The other side of that coin is, is that uh, Emmett Smith could very well, that uh, Glenn, did you like that? Did you like that one? You see how I twisted it? I know. Uh, but the, on the other end, uh, it could be that Emmett really feels that way about Dak Prescott. I'm not sure. Because Tad Prescott has come out in defense of his brother, Dak Prescott, and said what came from his heart. Gary says, because he didn't hesitate to open that checkbook for him, even after their careers was over. Exactly. Exactly. Jerry, if y'all think that when Emmett retired, well, well, put it this way, when Emmett came back from the Cardinals, okay, and retired kind of like Jason Wynn did, when, when, he, when he came back and signed a one-day contract with, with the Cowboys, if you think that's where the relationship ended, you're sadly mistaken. I, Jerry Jones, Gary just said it's true. Jerry Jones kept, he, he helped Emmett build in his real estate deal. Now, I'm quite sure Jerry got some of that, whatever. He may get about 3% of the company or whatever. Jerry ain't doing nothing for free. And when you do that, he set them up. Jerry has caused a lot of guys to have car dealerships in the Dallas area after they retired. Jerry, Jerry's taking care of a lot of these guys. That don't come in the press, but the guys love him to death. They come back. Dion loves Jerry Jones. Loves him. I and, and his loyalty. I'm just saying, y'all. Now, now I'm gonna put it up again. I'm, I'm saying Tad Prescott has 
has, has spoken up for his brother. Jerry and Stephen Jones have been mighty quiet. And, ta- and they're they getting blistered in the media. ESPN every morning they got this deck watch going on. They getting they getting crushed. Everybody saying the same thing. I don't know why Dak ain't saying. You get podcasters like myself. You get podcasters all around the country. They're saying the same. We don't know why Dak. Sooner or later you get tired of hearing it. Here come Emmett. One of Jerry's guys who comes out with a cruel statement. It's right there for you. Look at the screen. He said, the only answer I can give is that the Cowboys are uncertain whether or not he's the future of the Cowboys. You got to keep in mind, Emmett is on the inside. Now, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I may be wrong. I'm just throwing conspiracy here. I, I'm sorry. We live in a conspiracy type world. But Emmett Smith has access. Emmett Smith has access to Jared Jones. I believe Emmett Smith got his phone number on speed dial. In his phone. I believe that. Emmitt Smith is an ambassador for the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think Emmitt just putting stuff out there, just be putting it out there. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just putting it out there. Jerry is getting crushed in the media. He got an ego. Some got to come out. And, and him saying this, Emmitt saying this, Emmy saying this kind of, kind of, kind of lets you in, maybe into the mindset of what the office is saying. And if that is the case, then then I'll go back to uh, uh, a certified cowboy. If that is the case, then you need to have and trade him. Rodney said, "I think JJ loves drama. Always being a relevant news story. Him, JJ's brain. Oh, uh, we know that." I'm talking about using a voice. See, see, when I'm saying about they don't see, I'm, I'm just trying to show y'all this. Like me, I'm just a little podcaster. When I say they don't believe in Dak Prescott, it's just my little group here that's listening to me. Okay? Okay? I, I, I'm just saying. When I say it, it's just y'all, just few folks that's listening to me. Y'all see it. But when Emmett Smith say that, you get news clippings. It's everywhere. It's in Bleacher Report. It's in the Cowboys uh, uh, plays on Inside Star, Inside the Star. It's on ESPN. It's in memes all across social media. It's everywhere. When Emmy said, that's power. That's power. And it's going to get something going. Now, on the flip side, Emmett could very well be being truthful and coming to the defense of that. It, it very well could be. I'm just saying it, it could be one way or the other. Either way, it's a detriment to that. It's right there on the screen. Kendall, what's going on? It's right there on the screen. I, I think it's on the screen for y'all, God. I hope you can see it. I, I hope it's there. Uh, but Emmett has, has, has come out and and put his hat in. This is the biggest name that done said something. Troy has said something. Troy Aikman, they say something about it. Say, so you know, we should do it. But when Emmett Smith talks, people listen. That's why it's all over the internet, what he's saying about it. It's there. So I I, 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 I want to apologize for that. It shouldn't have taken this long. It shouldn't take this long. I want to apologize to him because I, I don't understand it. Do not move, J.J., CK book. I survive cowboy. I'm sorry. I, I I don't know what do not move Jerry Jones. Check okay, it did not move Jerry Jones checkbook. I see. No, it didn't. It did not. No, and, and in defense of Jerry. Now let, let's let's be in defense of Jerry slightly. This is the reason why we can't really crush because it's not set yet what the salary cap is going to be. That number has not been done for nobody in the league. So the owners don't know exactly what they're really dealing with yet. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but if I was an owner, I can't really do nothing until I know what I'm playing with. Now, I'll give Jerry Jones that part. A lot of us wanted uh, Dak Prescott saying, 
the day after the season was over. It ain't going to work like that. The salary cap has not been put in place yet. In fairness to Jerry, some of y'all are going to say it don't make no difference what it is. Set, sign him anyway. He should have been signed. Well, that <laughs> I, I get it, but it, it's just not going to work like that. Certified Cowboys say defensive line is on the team. Oh, no doubt. And that's what the draft and stuff is coming in. Plus, you see you got some free agents. You got some guys that are coming back off injury. Uh, Hill, uh, there's a possibility of McCoy. Of course, McCoy is coming back. Uh, you know, so it's going to get better. But uh, certified guy Jerry needs to wait. Uh, I... I in my opinion, uh, certified and all you guys that are listening, I really do believe that Dak Prescott is going to be playing on the franchise. They're going to franchise him. And then the next big story is going to be where well, you got to July to make a long-term deal and the drama going to continue to end. And then July going to get here and, and it's going to be still a mystery. But they're going to have to franchise him soon because their date is coming up. They'll franchise them, and then they'll carry us on this long ride again, saying, hey, we're going to try to get the contract done uh, for that before the, before the deadline in. That's in July. So that's what's going to happen. He's going to get franchised again. Then the question is, is he going to get signed long term before July end? If not, this will be the last year of the Dallas Cowboys that you see that in and number four in a Cowboy uniform. Why am I saying that? Because the franchise tag after that goes to $50 million. You're not going to pay Dak Prescott $50 million next year, the third year. Not going to happen. So this is going to be it. And then certified Cowboy, if he believes, which he would, he'll get his money somewhere else or somebody will hurry up and pay him. And then the question is, we back in rebuilding mode. I think he's a franchise quarterback. And at first, I said he was not. But he got better and better and better. And I apologize to Dak Prescott because he is a franchise quarterback. No, he is not Mahomes. No, he is not Rodgers. No, he's not those guys. No, he's not. But he is a franchise quarterback. Quarterbacks don't grow on trees. They don't. Good, the good ones, the good ones, they don't grow on trees. It's only a handful of them. I mean, a handful of good quarterbacks in this league. You got the, the, the great ones, then you got the real good ones, then you got the, just the good, and then you got the a little bit below the average. Dak Prescott is not average. Dak Prescott is not is 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 better than good. He's not uh he he I say this. I say this. I I, I will say this. Dak Prescott, he, and, and let's see if y'all agree with me on it. If you agree with me on this, agree and let, let's just see. Here, here's my statement about Dak. Dak is real, he's real good and has some flashy great moments. That's my, that's what I, I think he's real good slash and have some great moments. That's what I, that is what I believe. And if you're real good and have some real great moments, you can win a Super Bowl. See, it's only a few guys that you can say they're great and they stay great. Mahomes, who we're going to see tomorrow, he's great. Stays great. He's great. Aaron Rodgers, great. It's consistently great. Going to win the MVP tonight. He's going to be the MVP of the league tonight. Great. Uh, uh, Brady. Brady, great. That's why, he, that's why we're going to see him tomorrow. Greatness over a long period of time. I ain't talking about great and then have good moments. Those guys are great and have great moments. It's consistently great. Then you get the quarterback, Breeze, uh, who's great. I know he's a little older now. 
He didn't have a great moment this year, but consistently over his career, he was great and had great moments. When you start talking about guys like Dak and uh, maybe Matt Ryan, uh, you know, guys like that, they're real good and have great moments. But overall, they're just consistently good. That's that. But you can win a Super Bowl off that. You can you can win a Super Bowl with that. And there's not too many quarterbacks that fall into that category where I say they're good and have great moments. There are not that many that fall in there. I don't care who you're talking about. Uh, Tannehill. You know, we can't even get Tannehill credit because Derrick Henry gets all the credit there. And it's easy to throw to a wide open guy when everybody falls for the fake. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, come on now. Seriously. I, 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 I'm serious. I, I, I don't, I don't know. You have to, you have to tell me some guys. Uh, you know, Stafford is good, but he had no great moments. He's just good. I'm, I'm just telling you. You know, Deshaun Watson is is Deshaun is. Hmm. Deshaun is is. Is is good, and he ain't had no great moments. He just good. I mean, I'm just calling it like it is. You know, I, I'm sorry. See, you can win when you got those type of quarterback. I I I I don't know why we having this hard time with that. I just don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, oh, uh, uh, now Gary, Gary, Gary brings up a name that I think deserves a little bit more than what he's got. I believe Russell Wilson is, this is just my opinion, y'all. I believe Russell Wilson is great and has had great moments. He's great. Russell Wilson can take over a game completely. I've seen Dak do that at times. I see Russell Wilson do it consistently, week after week. You see what I'm saying? That, that, that's what I'm saying. It's only it's only a few guys that 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 I'm naming. I only name about four or five and throw Dak in there. I mean, come on now, that's a franchise quarterback. Yeah, Russell, Russell without question, Russell is to me. I agree, Gary. Gary said he believes Russell Wilson is the top three quarterback. I'm saying these guys, they don't grow on trees. The Dak Prescott, these guys don't grow on trees. And when you get one of these guys, you sign them. Look at all these bag of quarterbacks in the league. They're not on this level. Everybody talking, I have seen plenty of guys, everybody talking about Trevor Lawrence and all that kind of stuff. It don't mean he's going to be great. Jameis Winston was number one pick in the league. I mean, in the draft. We all know seeing what Jameis does. Jameis Winston was a Heisman Trophy winner and all American. You know, all I mean, come on. We 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 ain't seeing nothing incredible. I'm serious. D guys don't grow on trees. And if you're talking about rebuilding, I agree, sir, but he didn't play. So he's, uh, he said Russell Wilson did not play great this year. But overall, he is great. You, you you know, he did not. Yeah. He, he didn't play great this year. I agree. He, he didn't he didn't get the job done. <clears throat> but overall, Russell Wilson is, is great. And, and, and I'm saying, I've only named out of maybe about six or seven, eight guys. I mean, come on, people. When you get guys like that, you got to hold on to them. Huh? You these guys don't grow on trees, y'all. You got to hold on to them. You got to do something. You just can't just let them walk. And if you're gonna let them walk, I need a boatload of draft picks or something. I need I need some help. You just can't let that walk. Cause he's that valuable. He is. And if y'all don't think Dak is not that valuable, you let him walk. 
I promise you, it's going to be about 10 or 11 teams that will give him everything that he's looking for. Keys to the city, keys to the to the governor's mansion, keys to the keys to the, to the press boxes. He can have every seat in the look, everything. He can have people come clean out his locker, uh, a red carpet to his locker, uh, have 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 cleaning people to wipe the wood on the locker room itself, have personal people to wash his clothes. Whatever Dak wants, he'll get it somewhere else. Y'all know it's the truth. So I don't know why we're in this spot other than maybe what Emmy said. And I'm putting a, a real question mark on that. No, it's no breaking news, Wendy. It's no breaking news. Yeah, look, I looked at my phone, Wendy. I let me look again. Let me let me look. Let me look, Wendy. Wendy just asked me is in the breaking news. Let me let me look and see. I'm looking at my phone. Let me let me look at it. Uh, no, Dak still not signed. I just checked my phone. Out. I just I just checked it out. That like Dak still not signed. Gary, hey, uh, Tommy, I just read your message. I saw you, man. I'm, I'm glad you peeping in though. Dak is a top ten quarterback in stats and wins and advanced metrics. Why is this a head scratcher, Gary? I I I, I don't. The, the, it, it's, it's a head scratch because they don't believe him. That's, I, I, I've been saying it for three years. I've been saying it for three years. Uh, Survey said no one will sign that to four or five million a year. If that was the case, the Cowboys phone would jump, jump out. But that uh, cow, uh, certified Cowboy party, that not asking for four to five million a year. Not now. You know, if you listen, if you've been watching, what Dak wants is just four years. Cowboys want five. Most people say that the money part is not the issue, which is thirty-five. I think it's thirty-five to thirty-eight million dollars a year. That that's not the issue. It's the years. So it's not that. Dak don't want forty-five million dollars a year. He don't want that. He don't want that. That's not. That's not. There's no sign to say that. His brother would tell you. His brother agreed with ESPN. That's that I'll let you know. Uh, I think it was, I forgot the analyst's name when they were talking about the years and the uh, and the guy came out. Uh, uh, and Gary, thank you. Thank you, Wendy, for letting me know that. Gary, uh, Gary, I think, it, this is my, I think it's your first time. If you're with me, that's good. Appreciate you just popping in. But uh, if Jerry... If Jerry is 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 if that was the case, it wouldn't be a conversation. Jerry, Jerry me, excuse me, Dak just won four years. That's all. Oh, he know he he know he's not getting four to five million. It wouldn't even be no sense of even asking for that. He, he knows he's not getting that. That's not that's not the issue. It's the years. The TV, I, th- I think I explained it earlier. For those that are coming in, the reason why Dak won four years and not five. Is because the TV contracts are going out in four years. When the TV contract goes out, the NFL is going to make billions off the contract, the new contract that they're going to get, which means that the owners are going to get more money, which means that the salary cap is going to go up even more. And when that four years come out, that four to five million dollars that you're talking about. Certified cowboy. That might that might be the 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 bottom line of quarterbacks who's coming up for their contracts in four years. That might be the starting point. Four to five million. That might be the starting point. And when that does happen, that just want to be in a position to say, hey, okay, I played for y'all four years. I'm 31 years old. I'm 30 years old now. This is what I've done. And if he's done things positive. Then that gonna ask for even some more money in four years. Starting off. Oh, yes. He only be 31 years old. That's young. That's the reason why he wants four years, not five. He want to get in on the money when it come out. And can you blame him? I mean, come on now, y'all. Come on. I can't blame him for that. 
Wendy said, how are we calling Stat Dax next to another player today? When did Dak didn't finish the season? Uh, exactly, Wendy. No question. Gary says, franchise tag with Balloon and Jackson Allen signed this offseason. That tag will be $40 million if the deals get done this offseason. $40 million will be a year like peanuts. I agree. That's the other reason why they need to sign certified Cowboy. Because the Ravens have already come out and said they're trying to get Lamar Jackson done this, this year. Josh Allen, too. What do you think they're going to sign for? <laughs> come on now. If they're going to get done this year, and the cat, look, if, if, if Lamar gets signed, it ain't going to take but one. If Lamar or Josh Allen gets signed before that, the price tag going up some more. If Lamar's going to get 40, Dak is going to want at least 38, 39. I'm not, I mean, I'm just saying. It got to get done this year. If it don't get done, guess what? He's gone. If they franchise him and don't sign him. Exactly. Gary, Gary said, Gary said is, whenever the new quarterback is signed, it's set the market until the next guy come up. That's what golf did. When golf got, look, forget golf. When Garoppolo signed, I mean, come on now. When Garoppolo got paid, he was the highest paid quarterback in the history of the NFL. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Jimmy porn star dating girl G. Was the highest, at the time, was the highest paid quarterback. Here come golf. What did golf do? Golf became the highest paid quarterback in the league. Every time a new guy comes up, the money goes up. So that time is coming. It's either he going to get it with the Cowboys or he going to get it somewhere else. It's just that simple. But he going to get it. Kirk Cook, look at that. Kirk Cook, yeah, yeah, when Jimmy G was known, you had to pull it up on in there. He was dating a porn star. Yes, he, yes, he was. Jimmy G was dating a little porn star. Pull it up on the internet, you'll see it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kirk Cousins, as Gary just said, Kirk got paid. Come on now. With the Vikings. Kirk was the highest paid. Now, I mean, come on now. If Jimmy G is going to be the highest paid and Kirk Cousins is going to be the highest paid, and then golf, when he got his, he became the highest paid, and then Wentz got paid, he became – what What? what makes you think Dak don't supposed to get that? I'm just saying. I, 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 I don't get what y'all I – don't, I don't understand the logic. It's common sense to me. And if the Cowboys don't do it, then, okay, certified. I'm not buying that sign and win now, get more money later. 40 now, the Cowboys won't make the playoffs. Uh, Lamar Jackson cannot throw a ball. Jimmy G went to the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson may can't throw in your opinion, but guess, what's gonna, guess what Baltimore going to do, though? Certified Cowboy, the Baltimore Ravens are fully invested 100% in Lamar Jackson, and he is going to get paid as such, despite you thinking that he can't throw the ball. I don't think he's that great at throwing the ball either. I believe he's a pure athlete, more dangerous running, who can hit you on or sometime in passing. I agree with that. But Baltimore going to pay him like he can. Why? They're fully invested. They fully believe in him. And they're not going to let him walk. This won't even be an argument at all. He's going to get paid quick. He's not going to have to fight because Baltimore believe in him. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly, Deshaun. It, 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 they, they were saying, please. Kurt Gunn was saying, please tag me. Kurt played this thing perfectly. He got two franchise tags, didn't get hurt, and then he went on with the Vikings and got a bigger contract that he was looking for. That looked like that was getting ready to happen today. Kirk Cousins is a standard. I, and, and, but that, the only difference is that got hurt. Okay? Dak did get hurt. That was the problem. Uh, certified Dallas Cowboys say, Baltimore is crazy. Let them run. Nah, I don't think they they they. It, it just depends on what you're looking for. See, the Cowboys have to get some consistency. Baltimore going to the playoffs every year. 
with, with the Cowboys, we, we just got to get consistent. Can we just get consistent and win 10 games every year? See, Baltimore going to win. Baltimore going to win. Yeah, I, you know. Thank, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Miss Nina. How you doing? Thank you for joining in. Welcome. Uh, I see you. I'm glad somebody, Deshaun, it's just the truth. Say, what are we going to be saying with Dak is a cow when he walks? We're going to be saying we're going to be rebuilding. Now, you got to keep in mind when I'm talking to certified cowboy on Podbean, I, I'm not I'm not going against him because he's under the opinion that we are rebuilding. See, if we're if you believe we're rebuilding, then I understand everything that he's saying. My only comeback to him is is that we're not rebuilding. This team is built to win now. Now, that don't mean we're going to win now. That's why you give Cooper all that money you gave him, Cooper. That's why you gave uh, That's why you gave Lyle Collins his money. That's why you gave Lawrence his money. That's why you gave Emmett. I'm not Emmett, but uh, Ezekiel Elliott his money. That's why you gave all these guys, Jalen Smith. You bought this because you're not rebuilding. You're trying to win right now. That's why you gave him all his money. So I, I don't I don't agree with uh that. Uh that was rookie of the year, a two-time Pro Bowl, had the third most wins in the league since 2016 when he got hurt. Second most game winning drive tied, Russell Wilson, for second most total two Ds at all time and them players in the first four years. That individual accolades, uh that individual accolades are better than most. Quarter, quarterback Super Bowl appearance in our team conference. You can't argue with that. Gary's absolutely right. He has an impressive stat book. Uh, stat, he has an impressive resume. That does. But that's not good enough to get him. Uh, they didn't move Jerry Chick book, as certified said. If you're talking about rebuilding, I, I, I get it. Then, yeah, you talk about trading them. You talk about let them walk and all that kind of stuff. But your alternative for letting them walk with a team that's ready to win, and your answer is is Andy Dalton or a lot, Gilbert or Ben DiNucci and, and whoever. That's not that you're not gonna win. Then you are rebuilding. That's why I say they're gonna franchise. Yeah, Gary Miss Wendy loves what you said. It's just the truth. I get it. Uh. You certified say a better defense in Baltimore. Well, yeah, they are better than us. Yeah, you win ten games, you gotta have defense, but it sure does does help to have a quarterback that can throw for three thousand yards and, and can run for a thousand. That's why Lamar Jackson. So you can say he can't throw, and and all that kind of stuff. But let's be real, the players voted him the MVP of the league. The writers voted. Voted him the MVP of the National Football League. Everybody don't get that, and you had to do something special to become an MVP of the league. Lamar Jackson until you know until later tonight. Later tonight, when Aaron Rodgers win it, Lamar Jackson it was the MVP of the league. You just don't get that because people like you. You earn it. Lamar Jackson brings something to the table that nobody can stop. And hey, I'm just saying. And they are going to pay him like he's the greatest quarterback in the NFL. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. So all I'm saying is I apologize that Cowboy Nation will all be split on this. Just like my guy, certified Cowboy on Power Bean, is saying, look, don't pay him. Don't pay him the long term. You know, trade. He, he thinks that the best asset is to trade them away. Some of you guys believe that too. And then you get the other Cowboy fans and say, pay him. Now, then you get some of the Cowboy fans who are not certain about that. We know he, he's good and, and we had some great moments, but we're just not 100% sure thinking that he can carry us over the top. The Cowboy Nation is divided about that. I All my answer is to say this. There are not too many guys in the league that can do what Dak do. He is one of the top, in my opinion, and it may not be yours, but in my opinion, 
He's one of the top eight quarterbacks in this league. And it's arguable if that some folks will say that, based off his numbers, is top five. Now, I'm just saying. The numbers say he's top five. Now, your eye test may say he's top ten. See, that's the difference. When your eye test say that, then I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm not even arguing with you. I get it. I'm glad to see some of you guys coming in. Pod Bay. Listen, I appreciate you guys. Let me do this last read real quick, and I'll come back and close with what we're talking about. Now, listen, uh, again, you guys, we're getting real close to Valentine's Day. We're getting real close. Look, if you want something lasting past the flowers, you're going to get them I mean, on your flowers there. The flowers are not going to live long, okay? The roses that you're about to buy and the candy that you're about to buy is going to be eight in three days. It's going to be gone. You need to get something lasting. The Fragrance Shop Memphis is, is something that, that you should consider. Listen, they have every fragrance in the world. Uh, all you have to do is a Facebook page. Go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis. It's been ran by my fraternity brother. Listen, all you have to do is go there. We're getting real close to Valentine's Day. If you live out of town, it makes no difference. It can be shipped to you, but you need to go now. Valentine's Day is coming. Get something lasting for your significant other or your spouse, or whatever the case may be. The Fragrance Shop Memphis can take care of you. Every fragrance that you're looking for, he has it. All you have to do is go there now. Go to the Facebook page. Inbox him. It's there for you, and he will take care of you. I promise you that. I promise you you need to do that. Go to the Fragrance Shop Memphis. It's a Facebook page. You can go there. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we going to be talking about this. ESPN going to be talking about this. CNN going to be talking about this. Fox, Sesame Street, uh, the Boys Club, uh, the Girl Scouts, uh, the exercise show. Everybody going to be talking about Dak Prescott the next four or five months. It's going to happen. If you go to ESPN on Get Up Every Morning, Dak. If you go to First Take, they're talking about Dak. If you go to Undisputed, with Shannon and Skip, that it, it is a is an issue that cannot be avoided. It's gonna be talked about. I'm gonna keep talking about it here on my show until something happens. My guess, as I said before, they're gonna franchise them again, and then they're gonna feed us. Look, we're gonna try our best to have something signed before July. That's when it happens. Uh Jason says if the Cowboys don't resign that. It will be a big mistake as far as what he brings to the table and his leadership. I agree. See, y'all, 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 some of y'all thinking that, that we can just go replace him. Look, if it was that easy, you know, Dalton would have got the job done. The guy like Dak, I mean, Dak has earned the right, at least in my eyes, from what I've seen. He's earned that right. You just can't replace him. You just... It hurts. I, I, I think we all agree with that. It hurt when Dak not playing. I mean, do we have to see this season again? The defense was horrible, but the offense was scoring 30. Okay? If I'm scoring 30 points, what's the true definition of a quarterback? I guess I'll close with this. How much time I got left? I got about another 12 minutes or so. Listen, here's the, here's, here's the definition of a good quarterback. With this guy as my quarterback, I know that every game that I come into, I have a chance to win. That's a good definition of a quarterback. And, and, and even in that, there's only a few, a lot of guys who you can 100% confidently say, that with this guy as my quarterback, I know, not that I think, I know I have a chance to win every ball game. Dak Prescott is in that category. Dak Prescott is in that category. I believe that we got a chance to win every game because he's my quarterback. And no, he's not Mahomes. I'm going to say it again. I just know we got a chance with him. 
every game because I know what he's capable of. Dak was putting up 30 points. Yeah, we were losing, but it wasn't because of him. He didn't have no defense. Dak was putting up numbers. He was. If we had any type of de- – I agree with you, certified Cowboy. If we had any type of defense, uh, the Cowboys would – I mean, of course, with Dak there, Cowboys would have won, you know, 10, 11 games if we had any kind of defense. Not all on Dak. Dak was on, on a record pace. I believe he's going to do it again this year if he when he come back. He's going to light it up. You don't get three receivers like that just to be saying we're going to run the football. They had already transitioned to get off in it. That's why they got Lamb, even though Lamb fell straight to us. Kellen Moore already showed you what he was going to do. Dak was sitting throwing three, 400 yards every game. It, the, 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 the offense shifted. They put the ball in Dak's hand. Dak produced. Defense did. When you got a quarterback like that, then you can say, here go the ball. You got it, Doc. Go ahead. And he putting up numbers like that was before he got hurt. You got a quarterback. And it ain't too many guys in the world that can do that. It's not. He's a top 10, top 8, top 5 quarterback. It's only, only four, six, seven guys that can do the job at a, at a level that he can do with it. So it's, it's not that many. And when you got one, you keep them. When it says Dak was head of a glory when that angle snapped, it ain't no question. He was going to leave no doubt that he was the man. But I, I say this, Wendy, with him getting hurt, it proved that he was the man. His value went up with his ankle get broke. It did. It did. So I, I, people, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. But listen, I appreciate you guys hanging with me. I apologize for that because I was on this. I was, I was talking like certified cowboy on pod bean. If you've been following me for a while, you know I have been talking like that. That proved me wrong. So I'm a big enough man to come back and say, hey, I apologize. I think we need to sign him. And it was a point where I said that couldn't get us over the hump. All you got to do is go back to my Facebook page. All that stuff is there on my Cowboy Report before I start doing the podcast thing. I said that cannot get us over the hump. Look at Wendy. Wendy was with me. Wendy know how I talked about that. I didn't believe in him either. Wendy know. I, I didn't believe in that. That, that, that exactly. If Cowboy, certified Cowboy, even though he take position, even he said, Dak has proved everyone wrong. He has. He has. He has. He, he has proven everybody. And I'm one of them. And I'm a big enough man to say I was wrong. Well, because Dak kept getting better and better and better and better and better and better. And, better. and now he's at the point why I would say we can't afford to lose him. He's that good. He's that, I ain't saying he was the greatest, but he's that good. We got to sign him. And if he, we don't sign him, please tell me what the alternative is. And if you're telling me it's Dalton or, or, or Gilbert or a vet quarterback, I mean, if you're getting a vet quarterback, that's a bad hook. I mean, who you who you getting? All the good ones on the team. So, I mean, you are, if you're talking about a vet quarterback, a vet quarterback, you're talking about a bag up quarterback coming in to lead your team or a bridge quarterback. That's what you're talking about. All the starters are all the starters are playing. Gary said Prescott's a top free agent this year. There literally won't be anybody better to place him on the market. Exactly. Nobody. Not Dak Prescott. So, so I mean, who, who what's the alternative? I mean, you know, if you rebuild it, which tell me you want to lose, uh, okay. If you rebuild and tell me you're gonna lose, then you stick, you stick Dalton back there, and you say we're gonna roll with Gilbert. I'm just calling those two names out because that's who's on the team. Or you go tell me we go get somebody like Chase Daniels or something, you know, or tell all, oh, all, oh, all, oh, everybody favorite other quarterback who's disgruntled. I guess everybody would say, go get me Ryan Fitzpatrick. You know, somebody say we want some Fitz magic down here. That, that's what y'all say. Go get Ryan Fitzpatrick and, and let him be the bridge quarterback till we go get another quarterback. 
That's that's what y'all be saying. Go get me Ryan Fitzpatrick. And I'm saying, like, really? Okay. We want Fitz magic down here. Some and I just said, and I and I know some of y'all think some of y'all are saying, well, I mean, we did see Fitzpatrick win in Miami. Oh my God, please. Some of y'all, uh, some of y'all cowboy fans, y'all know y'all say that. I know it. You saw Dak win too. Let me close out by telling you guys this. Listen, I hope you uh, enjoyed the, the show today that I put out. Uh, listen, if you want to become a patron of, of my show, uh, there it is on the screen for you. Uh, the big time show, dollar sign. That's how you do it. Uh, tune in there. If you're on Podbean, however, you already see all of that. Um, uh, certified Cowboy says Matt Ryan. I believe Matt Ryan will do well in our offense. I'm not even feel alive about that. I'm not going to lie about it. Matt Ryan would be one. Uh, a good, uh, will be a, a good bridge, but he's going to cost you. <laughs> uh, if you're on Podbean, you should see uh, all the buttons there uh, where to become a patron. You can do that as well. Uh, it's not, if you're not, I understand, uh, if, but it would be nice if you become a patron of the show. Uh, this is not my uh, source of income. Uh, uh, but hey, this is my hot. This is my hobby. That's turning into something else. The show is growing. If you want to become a contributor, to that it's there on your screen for you. Uh, if you want to become a patron on Podbean, it's there for you as well. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging with me. Gary said Fitz can keep can keep him magic so where it is exactly. Um, Sorry, you know. I, I got this thing talking to me. I don't know what he's saying. But anyway, uh, you got some people saying, bring Fitzpatrick in. He don't want to stay in Miami. Bring him there. We can win with Fitzpatrick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Y'all, uh, y'all, we quick to give up on that one. Woo-wee. We quick to do that. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Especially after what I done seen. But – it is what it is. I just believe they're going to franchise them. The long-term deal is probably not going to happen right now. They're going to franchise them first and then try to get it done in uh, before July, a long-term deal. But I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Thank you. I will see you on Tuesday at 7.30. Tuesday at 7.30 right here again. Podbean, I will see you at Tuesday night, 7.30. As we continue this discussion, I don't know if, if we're going to talk about this or not. There, I'm quite sure between now and Tuesday, it's going to be a whole lot more said. Whatever the case may be, you know I'm going to be on top of it. And if it's worth talking about, you know I'm going to bring it to you. So tune in Tuesday, and we'll see. Uh, the Wendy say that's too long. I got to give it time. I can't go every day, Wendy. I can't do this every day. I can't. I, that's not my style. I, I just can't. I got a whole lot of other stuff I got to be doing. Uh, and I don't have time to do it every day. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you to my patrons that were on listening. Ms. Ty, uh, thank you for Glenn, who was here, Certified Cowboy. I appreciate you uh, uh, hanging with me uh, on here. Thank you so much. Uh, come back on Tuesday uh, next time. As we talk again, yeah, man, hey, Rod, one last time, my cash app is there. Uh, my cash app is on your screen right now. There it is, dollar sign, the big time show. If you want to become a patron of my show, or if you want to help contribute to the show, there it is there. Now, if you're on Podbean, it's very, very simple on Podbean. Just put down, click that button where it says become a patron. And you will uh, take those couple of steps there that is there for you. And you can become a sponsor or a patron, same thing, of the big time. So, again, thanks to my sponsor, the Fragrance Shop Memphis. Please go to that. Get you some lasting other than them dead flowers that's going to be dead, them dead roses <laughs> that's going to be dead in two or three days. Get you something that's going to last. Get you some perfume or cologne to send it. All right, I'm out. And before I leave, let me look in my phone one more time. 
I be hoping something gonna happen. Let me see if I got some breaking news real quick. Oh, uh, here we go. Yep, there it is. Nothing. Dak Prescott still not signed. <sighs> I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> Here at the big time show. Yeah, before I leave, y'all come on, pop it out. I know y'all saying, let me give you a little music to get y'all out of here. I'm out of here. We'll see you Tuesday, 7.30, the big time show. I'll let you probably be.